Hello everybody. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing great. You know why? Because I played this game. Let's get this preview started. You play as Jack Joyce. Doctor is a guy who played Iceman in the X-Men movies. You meet up with your best friend Paul Serene who is played by none other than Aiden Gillen. Mr. Peter Baelish from Games of Thrones. Hi. The main premise is Jack's brother, William Joyce, who I also think is a guy from Lost. He looks just like him. Found a way to manipulate time with his friend Paul Serene, who co-founded Project Promenade. Yes, I said Promenade. Sounds like Powerade for some reason. They couldn't have thought something else better to name it. Anyway. They end up splitting ways because of conflicts of interest and Paul asks Jack to help him test out the time machine. And as always, shit goes south really fast. And Jack ends up having to try to fix time, yes, time, that his friend tampered with. Jack ends up getting special powers during the process of the time machine crashing. The overall story plot is good. The instant I started playing the game, I felt drawn in by the plot. As you go into the game, the story does draw you in more, gives you a feeling you're watching a movie, you're along for the ride. There is no actual character model since you play as a protagonist in the game, but you do have an instant attachment to Jack and feel actually sincere for the character's well-being, making you want to root for him and his brother during the game. I know it seems rather basic, but the developers have done a good job making the mythos of the character interesting. It has good twists and turns and gorgeous set pieces. Graphically speaking, this is the best game today on the Xbox One. It has great texture, the facial character animation is well done, especially that of Mr. Littlefinger from Games of Thrones. It brings an eerie authenticity to the character. The shadowing is really good and brings a realism to the ambiance. It makes it have that um, photorealistic gaming, even at a shitty res of 720p. The overall environments and effects are very well rendered and set pieces that immerse players in the environment. The time shift scenes in the game are great to look at. I kind of felt a little bit of Last of Us graphics. I can notice that The Last of Us has had a tremendous influence on games these past few years. The game uses a third person combat system. The guns themselves feel okay and are nothing special. The Xbox One controller responds well and I had no issue with the control themselves. The thing I did have an issue with, like most third person shooters, was the cover system itself. It sometimes felt unresponsive and as I used it, I tried to go to cover, it would actually throw me in the middle of the area where I can get shot. The sound effects in the game sound great. The sounds of the guns and the minute detail and small details such as walking, the breathing, hitting sounds are on par with their real life counterparts. But the best part of the sound has to be the actual voice acting. The cutscenes of the actors is done well and the actual CGI looks great and I felt realism compared to other games these days. I can't believe I'm saying this but voice acting is great. The interaction with the characters is great. They have more things to say, not as repetitive as other games that tend to lean on re repeating of phrases. The music goes hand in hand with the ambiance. I love the futuristic type sound of the music. In the end, it brings depth to the overall game experience. Moving on to the gameplay, it resembles that of Alan Wake and a little bit of Max Payne. As you play as Jack and progress through the game, your powers grow and one of his abilities to freeze time makes actual cool scenarios in game a la motion stuff. When in gun battle, Killing an enemy will throw the enemy in a slow motion death, a la Max Payne. The way you shoot and run are similar to that of Max Payne. His other abilities such as Time Stop enable him to momentarily stop enemy 
giving him a cool scenario of Jack killing off the enemy. And we have his time dodge that is similar to the flash moving through time, aka bullet time, but better. The powers remind me for some reason that of infamous second son. I did notice that the game never becomes all that challenging even on hard mode. I did die a few times, but mainly from an enemy who had snuck up behind me while I was engaging with other enemies in front. This brings me to my next point, the AI. I found that the AI to be okay, they reacted well, better than the Division AI. My main problem this time with the AI isn't the actual level of intelligence, it's the actual characters themselves. They are very bland and get repetitive fast. I wish they had more variant of enemies, and as for the boss fights, they are pretty standard bosses. In my opinion, this hurts the game a bit. Being a simple boss battle and obvious to beat. Moving on to the replay value. This is the part that struggles the most to me. The game doesn't have any replay value. Yes, granted, you can replay the game one more time and choose the other path just to see what would happen, but in the end, that's it. There's no multiplayer, and that's okay. The, this game has put a lot of effort in the single player mode, which is actually nice to see. These days, you don't see that that often. I really think they could have added more content due to the fact it took me 11 hours to beat the game. Just a bit more content I've required. It doesn't have that um, feeling of Gears of War when you played it and beat it. Remember that, guys? And then you wanted to play it again and beat it again? It doesn't have that feeling for me. It doesn't have that effect in this game. Overall, Quantum Break makes for what can easily be considered one of the best console exclusives for the Xbox One thus far. My final verdict for Quantum Break is a 7 out of 10. The overall quality of the game is great. The story, the graphics, the sound all comes together to make a good game. I did find that it needed more substance for replay value. The lack of multiplayer, the lack of substance hurts the overall replay value of the game. If you're a person that is into replay value, then don't buy it, but rent it out. It's a game that will lose its flavor during the first few days of playing. Well guys, that's it for now. If you like this video, hit that like button, and I would appreciate it if you would share this video. And if you want to see more reviews on video games, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be starting a new series on new games. That's it for now. For this video, I'll see you guys on the next GIF review. Take care. Bye bye. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you have to do is click that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. Take care. Bye.